And now we will move to uh, truly uh, connecting to uh, the work related to microplastics. And um, I would like to invite Jana Baranovska from Environmental Center for Administration and Technology from Kaliningrad, Russia, to talk about Fun Plastic uh, C. Uh, the project that was dealing with uh, identification of plastic and microplastic sources and flows uh, in the Baltic Sea region and the project where Helsinki Commission is a part of. So uh, Jana is the head of uh, environmental education and monitoring department at uh, Environmental Center Kat Kaliningrad and she's been working there since 2016. She's providing uh, uh, a lot of work and contributions to international projects as well as collecting information and uh, sharing knowledge with uh, stakeholders uh, primarily in Kaliningrad region but as I said been working in international projects also with two international stakeholders. So Jana I hope that you are with us. And, yes and good afternoon and today I would like to tell you about our project. Uh, Fun Plastics T has worked to study the microplastic problems. Um, uh, Fun Plastics T is an European Union Interact funded Baltic Sea project aimed at decreasing and removing microplastic in the Baltic Sea, where Ikat Kaliningrad is one of the partners. Fun Plastics Sea addresses the following specific challenges. Uh, its lack of common understanding of the extent and characteristics uh, of microplastic pollution, lack of effective upstream technologies to remove mass, uh, its lack of common understanding of the extent and characteristics uh, of microplastic pollution, lack of effective upstream technologies to remove microplastics from different sources, a lack of um, incentive among the stakeholders in the water chain to implement removing technologies uh, that would have a true effect on microplastic pollution. Uh, the project consists of several big parts. Uh, their main administration, uh, system perspective uh, on microplastic pollution, uh, which includes analysis of current politics and research activity, uh, 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 and uh, microplastic removing technologies and capacity building to mitigate microplastic pollution. All of them you can see on the slide. Uh, the first output uh, have been already done is a review of existing policies and research. This document was prepared by HELCOM and consists of two parts, legislation and scientific research. Uh, analyze of policies made for all levels from global level to the national level of each BSA country. According to UNEP, uh, global agreements on uh, microplastic challenge um, is considered from three perspective, perspectives. Uh, as pollutant, uh, as factor which affects uh, um, on biodiversity, and as chemical and waste object. Uh, in the case of research activities, there are also three directions on studying microplastic. Uh, there are uh, methodology methodology, uh, characteristics of the pollution and aspect effects on environment and uh, organisms. If you would like to meet the document closer, it was prepared and uh, free for download from the Helcom web page. Uh, the most important part of the project is sampling. Totally more than uh, 70 samples, including samples for testing technologies, were planned uh, during the project imp implementation. Uh, the sample points was chosen based on previous analysis on possible sources of microplastic pollution. As you can see on our slide, most of the samples have been already collected. Uh, and the main challenge for this activity was uh, common of methodology. So all samples takes and processed by one equipment according to the one protocol, uh, which was provided by University of Alborg in Denmark. Uh, the next big part is technologies uh, which can remove microplastic and uh, mitigate the pollution. Uh, 
the great activity were organized uh, by our Finnish partner. Uh, they organized a hackathon where experts from different scientific areas uh, were asked to develop the measure on preventation of microplastic pollution. As a result, out of uh, seven teams, Greenwash was the winner of this uh, activity and they focused on plastic fibers that detach from clothes during washing. Uh, their solution is a filter that clears the water from microplastics and can be attached to any washing machine. Uh, one of the biggest uh, sources of microplastics, uh, car tires, uh, was also taken into account uh, in this challenge. And a um, team named uh, Ecometer took the second place and they uh, pointed out that poor driving behavior increases the amount of microplastics that breaks away from the car tires. Their solution is to nudge people to drive more sustainably by using a meter that shows the effects of their driving behavior. Uh, also, it was decided to test current measures. Uh, so, four pilots were planned to analyze. The first one is uh, preventation of microplastic releases from road traffic uh, is still on discussion how and where. Uh, the second is filtering methods to remove microplastic in melting water from snow piles um, were implemented in January, uh, but samples uh, are on the analyzing. Uh, the third pilot uh, is adaptation on existing uh, pilot scale constructed wetland system uh, by um, Gdansk Water uh, Utilities. This system was constructed uh, in the frames of Ivana project uh, of Interact Baltic Sea program. Uh, pilot study will assess ability of the wetlands to remove microplastic uh, from the effluents. Sampling from uh, the pilot has been planned on this autumn. And uh, the last one is pilot, uh, which will be constructed in the Gdansk water in Poland. Uh, the pilot station is dedicated to verify uh, the effectiveness of nature-based solutions, properly selected filtration beds and plants, uh, hydrophytes, to reduce microplastic pollution in the stormwater. Uh, you can see the simple scheme on, the, on this slide. Stormwater from the stormwater collector will be directed to a system of hydrophyte deposits located in five steel tanks. The first tank uh, will be used to measure basic parameters and uh, also it will play the role of a sedimentation tank. Two more tanks uh, will be filled with a filter bed uh, in which the common reed will be planted. Uh, tank number two will be a bed with vertical flow and uh, tank number three with horizontal flow. After passing through the subsequent filter beds, the water will go to the tank number four, uh, which uh, will act as a cleaning pond uh, with a variable depth filter bed. The last fifth tank will store purified water and uh, like tank, uh, tank number one, will be equipped with a measuring system. And uh, the last block of our project is capacity building to mitigate microplastic pollution. Uh, it has a specific purpose to disseminate uh, the project results and ensure that the knowledge generated throughout uh, the project reaches the right target groups for maximum added value and enhanced institutional capacity in the BSR. Uh, with this purpose, uh, different actions implement such as participation in different events, writing articles, giving interviews, face-to-face uh, -face meeting, uh, dissemination of informational materials. Uh, an example of it you can meet on the slide. Um, so I would like to present some results of our informational campaign. The first one uh, ICAT provided support on the exhibition plastic, which held on 26th of February in 2019. The exhibition was organized by Regional Children's Center for Creative Development, Sujet, 
and uh, aimed at highlighting the problem of microplastic pollution. Uh, ICAT Kaliningrad has prepared special notepads and certificates for young talents. Uh, the second event uh, is the Day of the Vishtenets, uh, which held on the bank of the Vishtenetska Lake has and has a regular character. So in 2019, ICAT uh, manages together with uh, representatives from Student Union AVA organized interactive ecological platform, uh, which was designed uh, to demonstrate how dangerous microplastic particles are for aquatic environment and its habitats. Uh, additionally, our associated partner School of the Future in Kaliningrad and Kaliningrad Center for Tourism and Environment arranged water laboratory, which allowed to assess uh, water quality with regard content, uh, as well to see microplastics throughout, throughout microscope and to get familiarized with lakes through benthos. Also, our experts prepared information materials and special quiz for participants. Uh, also, ICAT manager was invited to the meeting to talk with pupils about passion of ecologists, uh, what it means and what challenges environmental specialists meet every day. Environmental problems such as microplastic pollution and how it can be mitigated by personal approach were discussed. Uh, the next one is clean games uh, on Neman River. I think uh, it's the greatest social campaign we organized. Uh, the clean games are team competitions on collecting litter and sorting it out uh, that are held in the littering areas. Uh, the winners get the prizes from the sponsors. The event is approved by the local authorities and participants got experience of waste management and waste sorting in the form of a fun game. Uh, some photos of the quest you can see on this slide. And uh, on the next slide, you can meet with results. Um, 108 people were participated in the quest. And now we can say we have a good social support to discuss microplastic problems. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jana, uh, for this really good introduction covering the activities on Fun Plastic Project. And as I said, it's important that this uh, interact project is also coordinated with uh, policy level um, bodies like uh, Helcom. So it's not just delivering about uh, solutions and uh, flows of plastic and microplastic in the Baltic Sea region, but also connects to a policy body that is strongly engaged in uh, implementation of the regional action plan on marine litter. Uh, and well, Hopefully also the actions from fun plastic will end up in the revision of the regional action plan on marine litter. Uh, 